Welcome back to Living 808. We are enjoying our day here at Homeworld in Kapolei, and it is significant for a number of reasons. Also, the name of the person that we're interviewing today. I know, you guys. We are so excited to sit down with Kuhil Lewis of Council for Native Hawaiian Advancements. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Okay, so let's talk about your name, because you are named after the person that we are honoring tomorrow, Prince Kuhil. How does that feel? You know, I didn't use the name when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. um, it's strange how life comes full circle because now everything seems to revolve around this man's legacy so yeah, yeah i feel like i'm living up to something <laughs> so tell us uh, a little bit more about prince Kohio. i know you, i know you know a lot about him some of his, his important uh accomplishments throughout his life well prince Kohio is known for a number of things and you could do a whole show on just Prince Kuhio oh, yeah. and still have a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. But per particularly, he's known for the creation of the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. Mm -hmm. Over 10,000 families now have a place to call home because of that. He's also known for the creation of the Hawaiian Civic Club Movement, which is a movement that has sparked major legislation, not just in Hawaii, but in Washington, D.C. So he created like this civic movement that's helped elevate Hawaiian status. He's known for creating the judicial system in Hawaii, the, the, the Republican Party. So his fabric is throughout our daily lives today. And so, you know, that's why we honor him, is because he's an important individual that contributed to Hawaii as we know it today. And his legacy is contributing out to the West Side. Compliment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, John and I, we're from the West Side. So are you. Uh, why did you guys choose to bring the parade out to the West Side of Oahu? Well, Prince Kuhi was known as a citizen prince. He was always about the people. and so. You know, given his legacy is so prominent in this region, mm -hmm. you know, Kapolei is now the largest concentration of Hawaiian homesteads in the state. We felt it was only appropriate to bring him, bring this parade to where his legacy lives. I love that. The parade route is from Kapolei Hale mm -hmm. to Kamakanali'i. Can you tell us what folks can expect uh, during the parade? You know, this is the first time we're having the official parade here, so we're excited. Uh, we want to encourage people to come out. I mean, there will be five announcer stations along the parade route, so you'll get to hear what the groups are. One of those announcer stations is in Olelo, Hawaii, which we're really excited about. Mm. The whole thing will be announced in, in, in Olelo, Hawaii. So you can expect floats. You can expect a number of decorated vehicles. You have numerous marching bands from across the state. Uh, and, you know, overall, it's just a, it's going to be a festive event full with floral and a good representation of Hawaii. But the celebration continues, you know, even after the parade mm -hmm. is done. What can people expect afterwards? So typically we have a whole laulea or a whole ike ike that mm -hmm. follows. So we're going to be celebrating him well into the night over at Kamakana Ali'i. Uh, you'll have live music groups. You're going to have booths. You're going to have food. Uh, so again, we're, the whole day will be dedicated to honoring this amazing man. It sounds like a great celebration. What's different this year than in years past? Other than it just being in Kapolei physically, it's, uh, we also haven't had it in two years. So we haven't had this yeah. because of the pandemic. So what's different is that we are, we are actually looking at bringing in someone from every region uh, on Oahu. So all of the different homesteads will be participating. Awesome. You have all numerous civic clubs. We have bands and marching groups. So it's a good diversity mm -hmm. uh, from across, that represents all of the different moku or segments of, of, of our islands. What are you most excited about this year's parade? Well, I'm excited that we're bringing it back. Yeah. Uh, it's been a couple of years, so, uh, but I think having it in Kapolei is pretty significant. It's been in Waikiki. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where Kuhio Avenue is, that's where his statue is, that's also where he used to live. Yeah. So, but this is a continuation, it's an extension of this man's legacy, so I'm most excited that we get to bring this parade to the people. I was gonna say, and yeah. for us being on the west side, thank you so much, because we don't have to sit in the <laughs> it makes, it, it makes it a little easier for us <laughs> yeah, to get there. 100%. Yeah. Um, you, for uh, parking and mm -hmm. the route, is it gonna be difficult for people if they mm -hmm. wanna enjoy, yeah. or they're gonna be able to sit right there on the parade route? Yeah, I mean, there's, this is on the main thoroughfare. It's down Kapolei Parkway. Mm -hmm. uh, there are parking, designated parking areas at Kapolei High School, Kamakana Ali'i, so you can just park, get out, watch the parade. Um, it's a two-mile stretch, Okay. so choose a, choose a place. So do you advise people to come early then? I would say so. We're, yeah. not, we're not sure what to expect, but I, I suspect because of this being something new, we should have good attendance. For those that want last-minute information, maybe the route on a map, uh, you have yeah. a website for us? There's so information on the parade as well as the Ho'olaolea. It can be found on our website, hawaiiancouncil.org slash parade.
All right. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. We really appreciate it. And, and get some sleep when it's all said and done. Yeah. We'll I see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.